Hey guys, and welcome back to another Skyrim Quest Guide video. So, um, yeah. This is it. This is gonna be hopefully shorter than the rest. I don't wanna show the entire quest. Like, I don't wanna show you the whole, the whole walk to the place. So, I'll just explain it to you real quick. Um, the quest we are doing is the Way of the Voice, which is, your objective is to get up here to speak to the Greybeards. But first of all, you need to get it Everstead. Now there's there's two ways you can you can go from White Run. You can either sort of watch from my mouse. You you can sort of just do a long walk, and you get around here, and it gets really confusing because you don't seem to go in a straight line. And then you get up here, and then you sort of go down in that direction. Or you can go from like Riverwood or Helgen, preferably, and have a really short route through the mountains, which is the route I'm going to take. But um, so yeah, that's how you get to Everstead. Basically just follow the roads if you're going the long way and the mountains there's a mountain path if you want to go the short way. But uh I'll just show you me getting like started on the way. Oh dear there's Helgen. Anyway yeah you can see the sign pointing to Riften and Everstead and also the Helgen, which is right there. So, um, yeah, this is the direction you want to go. As I said, you just follow the mountain path and you should be fine. So, um, we'll pick this up uh, in a minute, guys. Hey, guys, we're back. Um, so I'm just sort of keeping tabs on you here. I know there's only been a second for you, but if you can see a sort of eerie looking mountain path that you're heading in the right direction because you're you're almost at Everstead. So um yeah I was just uh letting you guys know that this is the sort of what you should be seeing if you're going the short route. I'm not gonna bother showing you the long route. And I'm not sure what this is. Oh these are the revelers. Hail friends Yeah this is just a random encounter you can see all over the place where they just Happy guys. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Ismir's beard, you're one after my own heart. I They're just drunks, basically. They, they, they love this good drinking. This should not go unrewarded. Here, take this. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. I'm just going to check out what that was. I'm, I wasn't expecting this. Charm necklace, carrying capacity increased. That's a nice one. Wow, that's actually pretty good. If you guys should happen to have, and it's worth a lot too, if you guys should happen to have some extra, like, meat on you, when you see those guys, give it to them, and they'll, they'll give you something good. I don't know if it will be the charm necklace. Here goes the sign saying, Everstead, is this in, in this direction? So you're going in the right direction. But, um... Um, we'll pick it up when we arrive at Everstead now, guys. So, hey guys, here we are at Everstead, and I just want to watch out back there if you're following the road exactly, because there's a bear, and it can be pretty dangerous at early levels. So, yeah, this is the, uh, the, the place that you want to go. Everstead. And once you reach here, it's a big climb. Which, uh, I'm not going to bother showing you, uh, apart from, like, near the end, because it's, it's, it's hard to, like, not know where to go, so there's no point in me showing you a guide for that part. And if you want, you can pick up, uh, supplies from Klimek. Mostly food supplies, like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. So yeah, you can do it for him, and you get a little reward really? when you come well, back down. Kind of you. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. 
So yeah, Not it's just a sort of little side quest you can pick up for this. But um, yeah, these are the base of the steps. There's these little um, like information panel things that you can read. It's a sort of weird story. These edge tablets. I think they talk about like the history of man or something in this world. But uh, yeah, we're gonna skip ahead, guys. So I'm just gonna climb up these steps. So see you in a second. Hey guys, so um. We're nearing the end, but um, we're about two thirds of the way in. But there's a up ahead. There's a frost troll, and these guys can really be a pain. So uh, I'm just making sure you guys know about it. You can either stop and fight him, and that's really tough. Like I'm on the easiest difficulty, just to try and make sure we beat him, or you can run past him. But uh, if you have a follower, they will try and fight him. So just be warned. Flames are a good spell to use against him. And hopefully we got this guy beat. There we go. See what I mean? He almost killed Lydia. And so it's... He's a dangerous fight. So it's something you should be wary of. Um, I'm just gonna skip right until we are up at High Hrothgar. See you in a second, I didn't even manage to get it out. Hey guys, we're back and uh, there's High Hrothgar. So, um... Yeah. Um, um, once we get inside, I'll, I'll sort of show you the initial conversation, but then I will stop recording and skip the end because it's rather tedious if you've already done it before because you just learn a few dragon shouts and um, what do you want to do though for your side quest is you want to stop off here go to miscellaneous you should see Climax supplies and you whoops, you, you just want to store them in there and then that's your objective for that so yeah I'll just show you the first couple conversations and skip to the end of the quest just because I, it's not really anything special So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Shout for us, Dragonborn. I just did. Then we may have time for questions. Oh well. Just gotta wait for my little bar to re recharge. Don't be afraid. Boom! Dragonborn. I am Master. Ar now tell me, Dragonborn. Why? Well, we are here okay. to guide you so, in that. You are not. Whether you. I'm just gonna try and skip the through the conversations. We are the great. You stand here. We commune with the voice you have shown. You just gotta. You can. You can like ask him all about dragonborns and voices and, and stuff. Without but um, you have I'm just gonna skip to the end now, guys. So, toward. hey guys, I'm just uh near the end. Now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. And there you go. Sky. We've completed the way of the voice and started the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Which uh, we will focus on in the next video. Out? So As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. If you find these helpful, like leave me a comment. I wanna know if they're worth even continuing or if I should just do the, the main quest line for them. Like if you liked the video. And uh, please subscribe if if you want to see more content from us like this and other games as well. Like uh, so, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.